chemical engineering is a branch of engineering that uses the principles of chemistry, physics, mathematics, biology, economics to efficiently use, produce, design, transport and transform energy and materials. The chemistry, thermodynamics. You see in boiling, chemical engineers use heat transfer in every industry such as food process, automobile for bulk production. They also use mass transfer phenomena like spraying implication of maximum safety in control processes and risk management of all industries is one of the core activities of chemical engineers. They use various safety tools to operate chemical plants. Chemical engineers play the most fundamental role to turn the raw materials into best suitable products. Let's consider as example the most common product of our surrounding plastic. The word plastic originated from a Greek word plastikos which means shaping. Plastics are simply chain or repetition of monomers linked together which are called polymers. The general properties of plastics such as low cost, durability, etc. make us addicted to it. The journey of plastic started from natural rubber and through vulcanization process. Leo Hendrik Bakelin invented first man-made synthetic plastic, Bakelite. After this dawn of new age, chemical engineers took the responsibility of mass production. Since mid-20th, large-scale plastic have been produced from oil. The manufacture process is consisted of five consecutive steps. The extraction can be from ground or sea. The extractants are passed through separated to remove water, then oil and gases are collected separately. The crude oil is preheated before entering the fractional distillation column. Different elements are produced at different temperature by steam distillation. Naphtha is taken from one of output streams. The naphtha is cracked over 800 degrees Celsius in pyrolysis process. In the quenching process, gas is cooled down and separated. After the compression of gas, we separate ethylene from other products. The ethylene monomer is gone through batch processes like gas phase process or solution process and produce polyethylene. The polymers are joined into main base of plastic product resins and supplied into different industry. At the last step, resins are grained, heated, molded and cooled to get the desired final product. Following this process, 359 million tons of different types of plastics were produced globally in 2019 and we use them for various purposes. 12% of the dumped plastic are burned, releasing toxic gases that can cause very serious disease. The remaining landfill plastics may take up to 1000 years to decompose. They disintegrate into smaller particles which can move into groundwater, soil and also enter in our food chain. All forms of plastics eventually make it to the ocean through different ways. Due to ocean current, plastics are slowly drawn into a massive vortex where millions of pieces of plastic trash accumulate. Marine animals are affected pores. Some animals get entangled in the mess and some animals mistake the brightly colored plastic for food. Most plastic don't biodegrade. They are destined to break down into smaller and smaller pieces called microplastic, which might rooted in the sea eternally. Plastic production has been the fastest increase of any man-made material ever. Every year, around 200 billion of new plastic materials is recycled. So, let's see how plastics are recycled throughout the world in different processes. Step 1. Collection of plastic waste. Step 2. Sorting the plastics into different areas. Step 3. Washing them just like with clothes, fruits, and many other. Step 4. Shredding or granulating the plastic waste into small particles. Step 5. Identification and separation of small plastic particles. And you see, these are type of plastic which are recycled. And the last step is smashing the particles into pellets. And finally, manufacturers use those recycled plastic pellets to these all new plastic products. So, how much plastic is actually recycled? Well, researchers say that of the 8.3 billion produced plastics, only 9% has been recycled so far. Unlike the plastic life cycle, chemical engineers have put the most valuable stamp in every product manufactured to recycle by designing and developing industrial processes following every passage of science. They have helped to develop every aspect of our lives with healthcare, treating diseases, cleaning water, transferring and generating energy, processing food and whatnot. From nanoscale to terascale, from underground to galaxy, chemical engineers are universal. Even with the advancement of IoT and AI, chemical engineers are bringing triumph among all. We can lead the way of sustainable development and who knows, in the next 100 years our world will be an unimaginably better place to live in by us. As we chemical engineers are jack of all trade and master of everything. So be a chemical engineer. Have a change with us. Make a better and sustainable world.